Welcome to another episode of Filipino Times, What Makes Them Tick. Today, we have our good friend Shannon. Shannon, he's involved in real estate, in fitness, and of course, watches. Welcome, Shannon. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, first, we'll start off with Shannon's movie collection. All right. So, actually, uh, a lot of my movie-related uh, watches are not that expensive. And, well, honestly, I gave them to my kids already, but I borrowed them for this uh, this instance. So, first is a Casio CA50T. So, it's actually not... Uh, the original color already it's a reissue um, but the movie that this came out from is uh, back to the future so of course growing up uh, you, you really remember those movies that you like and enjoy them yeah. so the lcd is actually blackened para iba siya. Yeah. and i wonder if if uh when the kids go back to school if they'll be allowed to wear this kind of watch <laughs> calculator <laughs> I don't know. Very banalin yung math nila. They use Singapore math, That's which I don't understand. <laughs> so bala na sila. <laughs> and next Yun. we have this one. Uh, icon. Yeah, one of my favorites, the uh, Mission Impossible watch. So it's a, actually not, actually not a G-Shock. It's a, just a regular casual. So I gave this to my son. Uh, his name is Ethan. So related to we actually named him after the perfect movie. perfect. Um, that is really cheap, no? I thought I would uh, be spending a lot. Yeah. But, uh, no, uh, surprisingly, Shopee has uh, done one yeah, for yeah. us. <laughs> also, the, the best thing I like about this watch, apart from the color combination, is the shape. So the shape of the watch is different. Oh, yeah. I, don't think this, I don't think there's any other watch that would be in this shape. And um, it's very light to wear, and you hardly realize that it's there. Yeah. I think you have a yeah. video about it. Yes. So if you'd like to see our unboxing about this watch, link in the description below. All right. Next one is a EW6900. So this actually came out in Mission Impossible again. Yes. Uh, so I'm a very huge fan of uh, Tom Cruise movies. Um, this one is not the original color as well. Uh, I like things that pop and stand out. Yes. Uh, this is actually the watch I wear when I go hiking or uh, intensive swimming. So, oh. intensive mga, swimming uh, is something new. Mga pwedeng, <laughs> ano, mga pwedeng masira. Okay lang. Yun, and I, I actually got this uh, below SRP. So, the good thing about having uh, watch friends, yes. you get to know their sources. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so I guess after this, Shannon, you're going to have to get uh, my other favorite Tom Cruise watch is the Tudor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think that's next. Yeah. Anyway, tell us about this Zodiac. This is uh, one of my favorites. No? Uh, I had a, a season of watch collecting in which I sought after yellow dials. So this is one of the few that are left. Okay. Um, I, I, I chanced through a couple of Zodiac watches, but uh, they weren't really the colors that I wanted. Uh, but when I saw this, I, I knew I had to hide. Uh, had to get this. So, timing then, uh, I saw Zodiac, the uh, movie on Netflix. And of course, it's not exactly the watch, but at least, you know, it's, it's something that I justify. Purchase. Yes, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you make those justifications just to be able to purchase watches. So I, but, this, but this, apart from the case, now, which is a very um, different shape, I also noticed that on the sub registers there's also some different colors. colors yeah. yeah, that's nice. And um, the balance of to me, it look, everything looks like it's in its right place. Mm -hmm. The logo, the the zodiac, the sub registers, everything looks like it's well balanced. And I love this strap. It's an excellent strap. Playing it now with the strap. <laughs> But really, this um, Zodiac one is really a conversation starter because it's especially for uh, non-watch enthusiasts. Okay. It's the first thing you see, the dial, the colors. Then, you know, there are watches that are really essentially conversation starters. So, yeah, this, this will definitely 
I'm staying in my collection. Have you worn it on a different strap or bracelet? Not yet, not, not yet. yet. Pero I do have a bunch of leathers at home. Okay. So I, I do put it on top just to see. Pero as long as this one is still working, okay. okay. <laughs> and this one, this one is an important piece, right? This is the the original, mm, the yeah. first. This is actually the first Seiko I ever got. So it was gifted to me. Oh, that's even... And then uh, that's actually the reason why I joined all those Facebook uh, Seiko groups. Okay. So you know, you start an addiction. I have uh, made a lot of enhancements. Yes, you get that. Uh, so first oh. off, if you can see, the crystal is a little uh, rising. So it's called the top hat crystal because it looks like a top hat. Yes. So I really like this effect. It makes... Um, it look a little more vintage yeah and at the same time um a deeper deeper you know uh, view of it yeah i also changed the calendar because uh, oh, i've always okay. wanted uh, a roman calendar dial okay. but i never seem to have a or a watch na roman dial okay and of course uh, i love strap code so it's just the uh, quality and the comfort that you get with it so a lot of the original parts i kept because this is the first single watch i ever got and I I really wanted the non uh, made in Japan version. Oh okay. Because it has less text. Okay. Yeah. So, so cleaner dial. Yeah. So it depends on the, the mood for the day. So some of the watches I want a busy dial. Okay. For a day that I want you know some excitement. Yeah. But for the laid back days, I want a simpler dial. I also wanted to to show you that Shannon, uh, apart mm -hmm. from changing his strap <laughs> services, he also puts back the original uh, buckle. So I think that's a nice touch now, so that you still have your favorite brand yes. signed on your buckle. Did you change the crown or was Oh yeah, I also changed the crown. It's actually a, a spare part. So okay. It was there then, so might as well. Yeah, S for Shannon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the next SKX we have is a uh, bronze? Yes, it's a bronze case. So as we go, you know, deeper down our uh, discussion. <laughs> You get bored of the regular watches and you actually think of ways to enhance it and make it your own. So I like personalizing things. I like okay. uh, I like putting stickers with my name on it on my stuff. Mm -hmm. Cause, you know, um, first off, they won't steal it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but for watches, I, I really like customization. So a lot of the parts here are uh, from watch and style. So I really like it because they're a local company. They ship immediately. And the parts are really pricey, but you know you, you get what you pay for, and uh, there's a lot of quality and research that goes into it. I also changed the strap into a crafter boot. Yeah. <laughs> so the <laughs> so, yung ano? Yung smell. smell uh, vanilla scent. Um, I got this from Shopee as well. Oh, okay. The so buckle. yeah, I, I like things to match. So yes. Kaya papa no match yeah. I had the dial custom painted. So That's there's uh, hand painted. Uh, by what was your inspiration for the design on the dial? Um, started with you know the fixation of flying and going to space. Okay. So at that time I couldn't afford a moon watch, and I still don't have one now. But eventually I'll probably um, get one. But then I, I saw that uh, it's individualized. Yes. Yeah. Of course, it's hand painted, so no two pieces will be the same. Yes. Yeah. And then you get to talk to someone uh, doing the craft from a uh, different time zone and yes. different place. So this one came from uh, London. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the work. Uh, there are a lot of other different colors, but I think the reds, the yellows, and the subtle blues. Yeah. They, they and what do you call this handset? Skeleton hands. Skeleton. So this, what, the thing about modding is you go through a lot of iterations. Yes. So you, you you finish it then wait I think there's still some work to be done so it changes so this is the latest iteration I felt that putting skeleton hands would you know uh, allow us a better view of the dial yeah and, and what about the bezel was it always on a white it's, it's oh uh the insert the insert, insert is actually sorry. loomed also oh okay yeah so when it when when you really you know, I have I have a torch now when you play with it yeah. you actually appreciate it better right because everything is glowing. Very nice, very interesting watch. And this one is your turtle. Yes. Well, um, this one I got the case actually because it was the uh, BMBY of my son. 
so it's December 25th. Oh, okay. So when I found it, I really did like the regular journal design. So, okay. <laughs> so I decided to mod it. Yeah, uh, yeah that's about yeah. mods. So of course, uh, strap code. Yeah. This is an end mill bracelet. Very nice. So sometimes I can distinguish an end mill between a president. They okay. kind of look the same, but uh, they call this end mill. So it gives a, a subtle macho look. Yeah. Then a lot of the parts, like the crown, the bezel, the insert, the chapter ring, uh, the hands, they're for watching style as well. The dial, I forgot where I got it. So oh, probably abroad. Okay. So not, so not here. A lot of my dials are uh, from abroad. Um, but I really like the way the handset is set off by the dial. Yes. Um, the dial is actually full loop as well. Yeah. So I, I, of course, when you're modding, you might as well, you know, give give it give it everything on it. I also got a calendar that's beam. So, oh, so the oh, wow. Really okay. Beam. So I believe we have some shots of this. Yeah, yeah. To share later. Okay. But overall, I I like the look now. I mean, it's very the, nice. The chapter ring. Um. Well, the insert doesn't make sense, but I like how it looks. <laughs> I got the chapter ring. Specifically because the four is very uh, bad. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Typically, yeah. it would be you know. Other yes, yes, but yes. When I saw this on the forums, yeah, very. I, cool. I knew I had it. I, I had to have. I had to have <laughs> this, uh, this insert. Very cool. Because uh, they corrected it already, so it's yeah. not gonna come out. Anymore. Oh wow! Okay, okay. And lastly, your yes. new, your latest edition. Yes. This one I spent over a year planning. Uh, it's really because the part was too expensive. So this is a, an original Seiko watch. I just changed the case. Yeah. So I felt that the gold, the original gold case, will just display the model, I guess, later. I, yeah. I forgot the, the model of the watch. But I really like the square case. Sometimes I like to mod things to test it out. So of course, this is Bell & Ross inspired. Yes. So a lot of the square cases are Bell & Ross. And I just reused some of the old um, parts that I have, I had at home. I wanted to put a yellow calendar to make it pop a bit more. Oh, so you changed the calendar yes. also? So wow. this, this okay. is actually a bloom calendar as well. So okay. it also glows. And I like how cute the crown is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this strap is a custom done by my friend, so Rod of Box Yes. We have a lot of projects together. And yeah. Um, it's actually easy to talk to and you know we discuss a lot of ideas and I'm happy how you know, we o he always uh, comes up with it. He always pulls through for me. There, uh, I like the rivets and I use the original um, buckle as well from the watch. So I'm pretty OC so sometimes I would like um, things to match, bronze to bronze, but in this case I think it really yeah, it's works. Yeah, yeah. So these are my mods. So after telling us about all the mods, Shannon, why don't you tell us how you got into modding? Mm. It's really the Facebook moodles. <laughs> <laughs> when people post about mods, um, you, you actually look and yeah. you read about how they came, came up with it. Um, but it's really the ability to customize something. Okay. So I myself am not a creative person. I can't draw, I can't, you know, act or anything but at least i have uh, this sort of uh, creative uh, you know outlet yes so do you want to share some of apart from watching time or where else should uh would be mm -hmm. modders where should they shop or look um namoki mods mm -hmm. uh wr watches uh crystal times DLW. so i've actually bought from all of these uh mods so if they say your name will you get a discount no, <laughs> unfortunately not. <laughs> All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed Shannon's collection of movie themed watches and some of his modded watches. Stay tuned for part two of his other watches. Thank you.